Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. ABCD is a trapezium. This is A, this is B, C, D. AB and CD are parallel and BC is perpendicular to CD. So these two angles will be 90 and angle ADB is given as theta. This angle is theta. Side BC is small p and side CD is small q. We have to find out this length AB. Let us assume this angle is alpha. As this is a right angle triangle, we can say sin alpha is equal to P upon BD. BD is the hypotenuse. Square root of P square plus Q square. Similarly, cos alpha is Q over square root of P square plus Q square. Now this angle we can consider as, because these two are 90, this angle is theta plus alpha. So the last angle will be pi minus theta plus alpha, as the sum of all the angles should be 360. Now we will apply the sine rule. Applying the sine rule, this gives us sine A, this angle A is pi minus theta plus alpha, divided by the opposite side BD. BD is a hypotenuse square root of P square plus Q square and this is equal to sin theta this one ratio we have considered one this ratio and this is the second ratio so this sin theta upon AB AB is the unknown side this is the side which we have to calculate. Now everything is known to us, we will just calculate AB. AB is equals to now sin theta multiplied by under root of P square plus Q square whole divided by this sin theta plus alpha which after expanding gives us sin theta cos alpha plus cos theta sin alpha. Now we will substitute the value of sin theta cos alpha from here in this equation. This gives us AB is equal to square root of P square plus Q square multiplied by sin theta whole divided by sin theta cos alpha is Q upon square root of P square plus Q square plus cos theta into sin alpha. Sin alpha is P divided by square root of P square plus Q square. When we multiply under root p square plus q square in denominator and denominator, this gives us, this square root will be cancelled and we will have p square plus q square multiplied by sin theta whole divided by q sin theta plus p cos theta. It makes the first option as the correct option. That's why the answer is 1. Yes, sir. Question number 85, question number 85, the P is a matrix and it is the adjoint of matrix A. So P can be written as adjoint of A, therefore the determinant value of P is determinant value of adjoint A, which we know is determinant A raised to the power n minus 1. Now determinant value of A is given to us, this is 4, n is 3. That's why it is 4 square. We can calculate the value of determinant P. The value of determinant P comes to be 2 alpha minus 6. The value is 2 alpha minus 6. This gives us alpha as 16 plus 6 by 2 or 11. That's why the right option will be 2. And the answer is 2. In question number 86, 
we have to find out the intercept made by the tangent. So first of all, we will calculate the equation of tangent. We will calculate the derivative dy by dx is equal to mod x. And the tangent is parallel to y equals to 2x. That's why the slope will be 2. If the slope is 2, it means the point is, the x coordinate of the point will be either 2 or minus 2. If x is 2, we will calculate y by the given function, y equals to 0 to 2 mod t dt. By simplification, this gives us 2. And when x is minus 2, our y become 0 to minus 2 mod t dt. After simplification, this value comes to be minus 2. So we have the points 2 comma 2 with the slope 2 and minus 2 comma minus 2 with the slope with the slope 2. We will calculate the equation of tangent in both the case. In the first case, the tangent will be y minus 2 equals to 2 x minus 2. In second case, it is y plus 2 equals to twice x plus 2. Now we will calculate the x-intercept. The x-intercept in this case will be y equals to 0 gives us x equals to 1. And at y equals to 0, in this case, our x is minus 1. It implies the x-intercept is either 1 or minus 1. That's why the correct answer is 1. 